Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Monster Hunter Try. This is Captain Vulgarity, and we're gonna talk to this kid right here. Finally. After like three days of ignoring him, when he's got so desperately got something to say. So, him and his little brother, right here, give us two very important... are having a fishing contest. The first one to catch a legendary golden fish is the winner. Now each of them gives you specific ingredients to make a spec a kind of lure that you can use to catch golden fish. Now that's kind of funny cuz if they were like proper siblings and they worked together they'd be able to they'd be able to fish out a golden fish no just perfectly fine. But, you know, sibling rivalry gives you some kind of competition. Oh, also, I'm buying these books of combos so I can so I can actually combine stuff uh, eventually. Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about combining here. Uh, as soon as I get some more herbs. Yeah, that's a better idea. Empty out my bag a little bit. I think that's used to make something interesting later on. The fuck! I put my slate. I put my snake bee larva away. Larva. I put my snake bee larva away, honey. Where'd you put my snake bee larva? I'm going out with the boys for the third time this week. Don't you know, fishing is one of my regular hobbies. It puts food on the table. Well, not really. Most of the stuff I catch is crap, because, you know, it's just another excuse to drink. But who cares about that? So anyway. Ignore this part here. Not important right now. Just doing stuff for myself. Alright, now that I have the books of combos... And the snake bee larva and the uh, and the fireflies. I can combine them to make something. Unfortunately, I got I forgot to get the herbs, which was my plan in the first place. Hooray! Hooray for Captain Scatterbrained! Okay, now we're gonna combine. Okay, if you combine an herb and a blue mushroom, obviously that'll give you a potion. Combine a honey with a potion that'll give you a mega potion. Mega potions are your friend. You will want them throughout the entirety of the late, like mid to late game. And there's our golden fish bait, which we will use in this next mission, I believe. Now that, yeah, when you when you're combining items. Uh, well, it's it's a lot more self-evident than in Monster Hunter in the sense that when you select one item, all the other items that cannot be combined with that one item are grayed out. And if an item can't be combined, period, it's grayed out in the beginning. So it's a lot more self-evident in execution. So, you know, they're, they, they actually improved a lot of things. I mean, I don't, I don't know if this was done in a previous Monster Hunter. I didn't play that much Unite or that much uh, Monster Hunter Freedom 2, which is basically the same thing. Yeah, I didn't play that much Freedom 2 or Unite, so I'm not exactly sure. So yeah, they're telling us to go to Area, to area 10. Now, if you'll notice... As soon as I grab the map here. Yeah, grabbing the map displays that box right in the corner, but it gets in the way all the time, so I never use it. Now, you saw how far up Area 10 was? You know, we'd have to walk through Area 2 to get to Area 5, which is a long-ass walk to go through Area 9 to get to Area 10. Well, in most of the base camps, as I'm demonstrating here, there is a shortcut that you can use to skip some needless walking. There's... So this is the deserted isle. And that is a horrible creature you will never want to encounter ever in your game, life, anything. You, you, you're just gonna hate melons. Basically, you'll hate everything that's a minion monster. Is what I'm saying. 
as soon as you as soon as you start fighting bigger monsters, because all they do is just get in the way of your of your eminent goal. So anyway. The fishing spot is around here. Now where is it? Where is that fishing spot? As you can tell, I certainly love to fish. Because I obviously know where the fishing spot in this area is. Screw it. Screw the Benhabra. Turns out it didn't go far enough. Yep. Where is it? Where's the fish, guys? I can't see. Is it those things out there, George? Is it the Epioth? Uh, I don't know, George. Uh, I certainly can't tell. Maybe I should wait for a little icon to pop up of my head, George. Oh, there it is! So yeah, you'll notice when I threw the golden fish bait out, all those fish just swam away and the golden fish just came in. That's kind of what it does. Now another trick you can use with golden fish bait is actually to toss it in. Then you toss in regular bait, and most of the golden fish swim away, but some of them remain. And those some like that guy right there. See? Nibble? 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 Ah oh, gotcha! And there's another golden fish. I'm not exactly sure if that works, but I think it does, because I've noticed that sometimes, like, it doesn't work all the time, but sometimes I've noticed that, yeah, see that one small gold, that's one small little goldie over there actually stayed. And he's approaching, but he got beaten up by the bigger fish. Normally you don't want to do that if you're fishing for a specific fish. Normally if another fish, aside from the one you're looking for, b starts biting at your lure, you just want to pull it out immediately. Instead of actually trying to catch the fish. Now that right there, that one we just caught, small golden fish. That's an item that you can actually keep in your box. And use it for later missions and it actually counts as a regular golden fish, I believe. So yeah, I believe we have enough golden fish to actually finish the mission, but, you know, why not milk it for all it's worth? Golden fish sell for a, not for a pretty, pretty penny, so, uh, we're gonna need that for some later items, so, best to just do it. I guess I could talk about the different kinds of fish, but... Like I said, guys, I'm not... I'm a blade... I, I'm mostly a blade master. Like, I don't use... I, I don't use guns very regularly. So, I don't actually have a need for a lot of fish or bugs or stuff like that when I'm playing. Because I don't... Uh, like I said, I don't usually regularly gun. Just some people... Yeah, this is what you're supposed to do. If you're if you're hunting for something specifically, like I want that little bitty golden fish in the back. Trying trying to bring him in. Come on, come on. Ah uh, ah uh, uh. No no no, you nasty glutton tuna. Not today. Not today. Uh uh, it's a race. Uh uh, got gotcha gotcha. It's almost as annoying as Ocarina of Time fishing. So yeah, now we have to run all the way back to base camp because unfortunately there's no shortcut back there unless you have a specific item. A Farcaster, quote unquote. But for that you need to make bomb casing and bomb casing is a pain in the ass to make. 
I absolutely abhor trying... I, I absolutely abhor making bomb casing. Like, online, you can just buy it whenever there's a Gen Mo, whenever there's a Gen Moron Plus event. That's literally how I get my bomb casing. And it's essential for higher level hunts. Like, if you want to make paintballs... Not, not, not paintballs, but, like... I believe it's Sonic Bombs. No? Not Sonic Bombs, just Flash Bombs. But Flash Bombs are... Flash Bombs and Dung Bombs, and both are goddamn important. For later hunting missions. Flash Bombs more so. Say, I only have one small gold fish, so screw it! Let's move on. I'm not gonna waste any more time here. Oh yeah, there's also a fishing spot here at the base camp. If you really want to do that, but eh. Like I said, don't gun, don't need fish. Except for maybe scatter fish, but that's later. And notice they are they give you small golden fish as a reward for the quest in which you're supposed to complete a subquest by submitting small golden fish. The good thing is you can actually utilize this you you can utilize this quest a lot more if you have small golden fish in your box. You can just take a few out, like take two out, put them in your bo uh put them in the supply box at the beginning of the camp of the uh at the beginning of the quest and then just go and catch one more golden fish. Because I believe the small golden fish in the subquest actually apply to the main quest of three golden fish. Which, you know, makes sense. So, just demoing here that you can, if you don't like nighttime hunts, or if your obsessive compulsive disorder uh, makes you want, makes you want to make this game as realistic as possible, and your hunter needs to sleep every night, then you can just sleep in your bed to to uh, so they sleep until daytime. I personally don't see a, a use in that. So let's go on another less bloody gathering quest. I gotta save the bloody ones for last, you know? So yeah, some Freddy cat promised his girlfriend a red coral neck, a red coral hairpiece. And he can't guff, uh, and he can't pull enough guff to go swimming with a bunch of, oh, friendly little monsters, maybe a couple not so friendly ones. Eh. Sharks? Who cares about that? They're not gonna instant kill you unless you have like 10 health. You're using f you're using feline heroics. Oh good god. Feline heroics. Yeah. That's an interesting something or other. Woohoo, subtly hinting towards something later in the game. Or just, you know, blabbing about it because I have nothing else to talk about. Because I'm lazy and I don't prepare my... and I don't prepare shit. I don't prepare my dialogue. Shame, shame. So anyway, yeah. The main, uh... Basically what you're doing in this quest is you're gonna search a bunch of bone piles at the bottom of the ocean for red coral stones. Now you can also pick up other, th other interesting things uh, out at the bottom of the sea which are kinda useful. Like, you can also pick up black pearls for psychic gems and jumbo pearls for... Uh, I believe it's uh, jumbo pearls. What is it? I believe it's for certain weapons later in the game. Yeah. Notice how that 
Notice how the fish starts limping? That means it's near dead. And if you stab it with a harpoon when it's near dead, you can carve it up for something. And I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need to carve that guy. I, I'm gonna need to carve these guys to, uh... Acquire a certain... A certain two pieces of something I need for the end game, and they're unfortunately a pain in the ass to get. Already. See, Captain, this is why the GS sucks and isn't an inferior weapon in the name of Monster Hunter. In the game of Monster Hunter Try, you should really just use a lance or a bowgun and spam. Because that's the way all the pros do it. Fuck you! Besides, one of the subquests for this, uh,. One of the subquests for this. What do you call it? One of these subquests for this. Uh. Quest, I suppose you could put it. Is to capture. Well, is to kill three shark. It's funny. I mean, I guess it would work. I mean, I guess it works in I mean... Ugh. I don't know. Sometimes in the quest descriptions... Um, people actually... The Capcom actually makes subtle... Subtle references to the reasoning behind certain subquests. I know it does it in at least one mission later, but... I mean, it's, it's a minor detail. I don't know why I'm bringing it up. Oh yeah, I don't have anything else to talk about. So here's one of those bone piles I was talking about. And that's a red coral stone. Broken shell. You can actually use that to make more harpoons if you have bone, I believe. So yeah, you can collect from the bone piles in both areas 10 and 11. That's where they keep the red coral stone. I don't believe if I mentioned this before, but when you're um, swimming underwater, there's those little bubble, those little bubble points at the bottom of the sea. Those refill your air, so you know, don't hesitate to take use. Don't hesitate to make use of them before you drown, and before you start drowning, and your health is decreasing at an at an alarming rate while you've got a horrible sea demon feasting upon your flesh for. Like, like it was nothing, so... Yeah. So anyway, we collected all eight of those stones, and I'm going to spare you the walk back. I showed it the first time, because, you know... I wanted to make a demonstration of how long it takes for you just to walk all the way back to the fucking camp. But I'm not going to put you guys through that for the, for the rest of the... Damn it. If you guys hear any metal grinding like this in the background, I apologize. I'm a klepto and I love my sleeky. Just saying. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to skip most of the backtracking as soon as I've finished gathering quests. But there shouldn't be that many after we get to some of the three-star quests. Like, I think as soon as you get to three-star, you're not doing that much gathering, gathering, quote-unquote. The only major gathering quest that I can think of that even exists beyond four stars is one five-star one, and that's the Powder Stone, and that's a pain in the ass.
but we'll get to that later. So we're almost done all our one-star quests. Now, I don't believe you had to complete all of them. You only had to complete a few key ones, normally. That's kind of how it works online as well. But, we're going to complete... But, I'm going to complete all of them in this LP. Just because. Now we get into a rather interesting quest. The Monster Guts Collecting Quests. This, I believe, is the main key quest. I'll, I'll call it the main key quest for... A, for the One Star Regime, or whatever you want to call it. I believe, because... Well, let's just say something interesting happens along the way that sort of maybe does advance the story a little bit. Or at least puts you in the perspective of what you're about to be, of what you're going to be up against. Illusion is a good word. Sorry about that little pause, folks. Had to take care of a phone call. So, anyway. Let's... Right, Monster Guts. You notice that in the last mission, there were a couple Epioth out in the water that you could possibly kill and carve from Monster Guts. That thing, right there. That's basically the Aptanoth of the Seas. And he's pretty cool. I mean, he's pretty cool, but we gotta kill him in order to get the monster guts, so... Sorry, buddy, just gotta go off with your head. Nothing personal. Requies got him, Bachi. So you get two carves off of an Epioth, and I didn't get any Monster Guts that time. Awesome. So, they only put one out here because you need three Monster Guts, and the most you can get is two from one Epioth. Gee, I wonder why they do that. Maybe to force us into Area 11 to look for more of them. Unfortunately... Something's waiting for us there. Eep. Look at that motherfucker over there. Yeah, that's the Lagia crew. Or Lagia crew, or whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it. And let's put it this way. We're outclassed by that big motherfucker there. I mean, look at him. He's so badass, he just killed that Epioth without even eating it. Just to show that he's the boss. You don't fuck with the Lagia crew. You do not mess with the goddamn king of the seas. Lord of the seas, my bad. I mean, look at that. He just took out that whole fucking stalactite underside of the island. You, 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 no. You don't screw with a, with a monster like that. But you do paintball. 
And here's where we demonstrate what the paintball is useful for. You use it to track certain monsters. Usually... Actually, in this game, it only works for big monsters. I believe in Monster Hunter you could miss, you could use it on small monsters, but that was usually just a mistake. But yeah, paintball keeps the monsters right in check for you, so you know where they are on the map. And if you've got a map, you'll be able to tell. But I mean, it's easy enough to tell when they've when they've switched areas, because that little spotlight up in the middle of the map will move when they've moved to a different area. But uh, yeah. Laggy crew, you don't want to mess with him, especially in the beginning of your game. You are, you odds are you're just not well equipped enough at that point, because you haven't actually hunted any large monsters in order to get any better gear. I mean, you're stuck in your fucking hunter slash chainmail slash whatever with your puny iron sword plus you're screwed you want to take on the lagia crew <laughs> you're fucked he'll he'll utterly destroy you at this point in the game no matter how good you are well i wouldn't say that but odds are it's just better not to pick a fight with him even if you are like a pro hr 800 ungodly something or other at the game. It's just... Well, even... It's not even your HR. So, yeah. Gotta take out some of these Epios. Gotta love the greatsword. Just one hit KO. But I love a lot of the other melee weapons as well. I'm not extremely... Par I'm not extremely particular. Actually, I am kind of extremely particular. There's just some, there's just some that I don't. There's just some weapons that I don't like, and I've actually I've actually tried to use. <laughs> oh, they're so funny when they get knocked out. They just flop around, and that's one interesting thing about the charged or forward greatsword slash underwater is that it'll actually hit enemies behind you for the same amount of damage. Ah. F Friggin' cripes, he've actually fa actually found us. And I haven't got my guts yet. So what do you think a crazy motherfucker like me will do? He's noticed me. Should I run? Should I not deal with the laggy crew? Nah, I'm just gonna keep carving. Screw him, this is my C2. It's my goddamn island, I'm a hunter, damn it. You'll see how far that gets me later on. You'll see. In fact, I'm going to demo that before the end of this video. Now, there is no way I would have been able to dodge that lightning shot had I not previously memorized all of his audio cues. That, right there. Damn it, stop giving me the goddamn bones. Uh oh. Uh oh. See, so yeah, there's this big giant sea monster that can take out half my health with one light attack. But I'm just, I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna chill and carve some fucking monster guts and ruin, and possibly ruin his dinner. I don't know. Seems like a good, good enough plan to me. Let's just not even bother with the giant mammoth of the, with that giant mammoth-sized serpent of the sea. It's, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's no problem. No problem at all. Now, okay, I was actually about to get smart and run away here, but notice he's kind of lost interest in me over there. 
So he curls up in his little sleeping curly ball position and decides that we're actually not worth messing with, which is kind of what we want because we're nothing, we're, we're not even nearly a threat to that <laughs> today. Oh, yeah. So let's just get our guts and get the fuck out of here. There we go. I believe that's two. Goddamn stingy ass Epioth. Being so friggin' blah, blah, blah. Underwater physics. Yeah, underwater is definitely a big the biggest biggest change for any monster hunter uh, person and nobody generally people generally don't like fighting underwater all right I got my monster guts feeling pretty good about myself I think I'm just gonna try and uh, take a piece of laggy out yeah feeling cocky now notice I took my great sword out right into a guard there just before we get into the awesome action epic duel. Uh, I actually, you can actually pull your your weapon out straight into a guard or attack by holding R and tapping X and A. So yeah, great idea. We can take this motherfucker on. Who's he think he is coming about? Uh, yeah. I like how we're still breathing. <laughs> I I'd think you'd be dead after that. You know, a little bit of lightning, a little bit of chompy chomp chomp, and you're done. But yeah, somehow we're still alive. Well, that was more entertaining than just walking all the way back from eleven. Don't you think? Ah, yes. There I am demonstrating how defeats decrease from your rewards. And what carding does. Get... Uh... Don't get used to it, because I won't show that off anymore throughout the entirety of the LP. Because that's just shameful in, off in offline mode. Or any video where you're trying to prove skill, really. So yeah, had an epic little tango with the Lagia crew and came back bloody beaten and scarred. Awesome. Woo! He just comes back singed to the bone. He just comes back singed entirely and his and his hair is just sticking up everywhere. Got little got little electrical bolts flying through it. That would be that would be hilarious. That would be some awesome fan art. Just just, just hit. Just the hunter getting his ass kicked. Uh, the music changes. The stinky sea devil. I had no idea. I never noticed the music changed. Oh wow, that's actually really nice. And it goes back to normal. So yeah, what was I talking about before? Uh, oh yeah, that would make some awesome fan art. Just, just seeing some guy in leather, just come back to the, just come back to Moga Village, talking to the chief, singed with his hair sticking out everywhere. He was like, "Yeah, you were right. I shouldn't have taken on the Lagia crew." Actually, to the guild, to the guild clerk, because she did, she told him not to. That would be awesome. Just that, that's hilarious right there. Uh, let's talk to the captain. So these guys right here are your hunting fleet. They go out and catch fish for you. Sometimes, and they also sometimes go out and hunt monsters or treasure. Unfortunately, most of their fleet's been entirely wiped out and they're not exactly up to speed with what they work for. And by up to speed, I mean their boats 
aren't exactly as good as they can be. Improper word usage. My name is Red White. They're always after me lucky charms. Hi. That's the fish, and that's the fishmonger. She's the one you talk to about the, uh, about the hunting fleet. I don't know why they call it the hunting fleet, but I guess that's what they were before you, the hunter, came in to be Mr. Big Strong fucking awesome. So yeah, right now, all you have is the captain's boat and one area to go to for each. Either Dark Waters or Moga Coast. Unfortunately, I don't feel like wasting the resources on that right now. You can also give them a tackle to help them, to aid them in their journey. Which is, you know, you've got paddles that'll make the journey shorter, fish finders, treasure trackers, items that'll give you more of a certain kind of item, stuff like that. So he wants, so the farmer wants to start a mushroom box, so I gave him the resources to do so. Yay, happy, joy. I'm such a nice guy. And so sexy, too. With my face vibes. And my battle scars from Lagia Crew. Ugh. He's just so manly. He's so manly. Oh my god, I just want to go down on him. Hi! <laughs> Yeah. Luck played a part. He didn't hit my vitals, somehow. Yeah, just my head. That's nothing but a thick dome of bone. That's it. Maybe I should use my skull as a weapon. Alright, so this is the next mission we have against some slightly tougher minion monsters. And... I'm going to be using the sword and shield for that, because I haven't actually used it for anything. This is our first what you call an urgent quest. Which is basically the qualifying quest for the next level of quests. Quest, quest, questy, quest, quest. You get it? Get it? You have to beat this to get two star quests. And so on, up, to, up till the end beat the two-star urgent to get the three-star quest, and so on till the end of the game. So, that's about it for this update. I'll see you next time, folks.